If you're interested in this pre-built Shopify store, it is for sale. It is linked down below. It does come with digital products already ready to resell. It is a Shopify store. Click the link in the description for more information if you're interested. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the logo on Canva. It is already pre-made. I'm just gonna download it as transparent and upload it to Shopify. Once the logo downloads, I'm going to go back to Shopify, click online store, and then cups, uh, customize. I'm going to use the um, Dawn theme, and I'm going to start with the top, the header announcement, and work my way down to the bottom. You already know I'm going to go with black because it just looks like a, a very nice, like, um, I don't know, like, welcoming color. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It just goes with, like, a lot of things. <laughs> so I'm going to upload the logo because I don't want too much pink because um, I have like a lot of pink in the banners and stuff so after I upload the logo I'm gonna blow it up um, make it bigger and then I'm gonna go back to Canva and now I'm gonna be making the website banner I'll click customize size 2000 by 800 and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do about like three banners I typed in luxury office window view and I'm gonna turn down the transparency and then I'm gonna start adding my mottos And now I'm going to add some text um, says become a passive Barbie because you know the store name um, I went with passive Barbie which is really cute like I like it so I don't know if y'all prefer me to like do a voiceover talk over the video show you what I'm doing but obviously you can see you know but I don't know if it helps if I talk because I'd rather just play music I don't know like I'll be running out of like out of breath like, I can't breathe sometimes you know but let me know which one you would prefer um, and then I'm going to go ahead and actually save and uh, i save copy the color scheme the hex code from the logo i want it to be the same pink so i went back to canva and i'll like click copy and then i'll paste it back on my banner just so it can be cohesive in the same color but yeah let me know which way y'all prefer down below in the comments
Now, remember I said this is a pre-built Shopify digital, digital product store. It comes with digital products that I sell myself. I just add it to this store, this store so people can resell it. I'm going to go to products and show you guys how to um, add uh, the very first digital product. Um, I'm just going to like click add product, add product and add the photo. But then I'm going to go back at the end, of, at the end of the video to download the digital product um, app you need to sync with Shopify in order to take my um, PDF file from Canva and sync it with Shopify. Like it sounds a little bit confusing right now, but just keep watching. Towards the end, um, I did add the digital product, like the PDF. This is a way you can um, ha have Shopify write your product description, by the way. They have like an AI generated. You could type it in, it'll write like a whole paragraph for you. I like what they put, so I'm just going to insert that. And then, yeah, I'm going to um, finish showing you guys designing the website and actually syncing a few digital products to the store. Just one, actually. And I'm going to make the um, the cover photos in Canva. And these are some of the digital products that come with the store that are resellable. They have um, re resale rights and you can edit and change anything um, as far as the digital products or the store as well. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add the um, collection list photos. Well, the photos are already added, but or did I already add them? Let me see. Hold on. No, yeah, I'm going to add the photos for the um, collection list, the cover photos from Canva. And then I'm going to go back to the customized design page to add those as well.
Okay, now this is where it gets uh, tricky. So these are resellable digital product products. I'm gonna download it as a PDF and have um, my customers or my client customers um, resell there. They can edit it, but to be sure that it can be, you know, edit edible, you have to create a template link, which is what I'm what I'm showing you right now. Um, you want to grab that link from Canva in the actual file or ebook you're trying to resell, and then you'll add it and click done. As you can see, and then you always want to be sure that the link actually works. So I will actually download this as a PDF just so um, I can see how it will go to my customers or my clients customers. Because like I said, it's a resellable product. And then I'll click that PDF ebook and I'll scroll to the very bottom just to see, oh, if this is, you know, if it works. So it says click here to edit template. And then I would see this on Canva. If you see this where it says like, you know, It'll say um, Angels Who Hustle has shared a template with you. Click here to edit or to start designing. So that is how you do that. Edible Canva template link. And then right here, there's no um, app sync. So I have to go to the Shopify app store and download the digital product app so I can attach the PDF file. So I'll go to the app store and I'll type in digital and then you'll see me install that and upload the um, PDF file. Now, if you get this mistake right here, a lot of people do get this. You want to go back to products and find the actual product, and you want to um, you want to be sure that you do not um, track quantity because it's digital. You don't need to track it, and it's not a physical product. You know, it's digital. So you want to go ahead and click save to all your digital products that you do sell on Shopify. Uh, but that's what I'm doing here just to fix that error. And then once someone um, buys from like this website, a digital product, it'll go straight to their email. So that is it for this video. I do hope that I helped someone. If you're interested in this pre-built Shopify website, it is linked um, below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.